made some alterations to my uh, Mac 3 program this evening. Um, I'm going to to do some milling using a jig. And so I need to know exactly where the jig is on the table each and every time. But the problem I have is my homing switches aren't as accurate as I would like them to be. Um, I couldn't get a, a decent repeatable cut. It was a millimeter out, half a, half a millimeter out, and it was it was fairly obvious on the finished job. So I was going to resort to just moving the bit to the corner here and spinning it until it made a, a slight noise and I'd, you know, zero it there and then um, subtract the thickness of the bit and then that would tell me where this side of it was right on this edge. Same thing on this side. So it was a little bit of a manual process and I thought I've got a touch off probe so let's do some work there. So what I've done is on my screen here this was the auto zero area here. I've added two more auto zero buttons. So we've got your Z axis auto zero. I've got a, um, I don't know why it's gone white, that's in interesting. Uh, X axis, a Y axis, and a Z axis auto zero. So I'll show you how they, how they work. If I put my block here, we'll get fairly, fairly close. So we'll just jog it over to within a few mil there. And all I do is I hit the auto Z, I tell it the width of the bit, so this is a six point um, quarter inch bit I'm using, so 6.35, and then that'll work out half, tells me to touch the bit to the probe, so I touch it, and then it slowly starts to travel over, um, I didn't want it to go fast, I only had it, thought I'd just do the one, one pass, so you need to get it fa fairly close. So it touches that, backs off. It has now put the Z axis to minus 44.975 because that's the width of the block um, with also half the width of the bit. Do the same thing on the Y axis. We'll put the block in this corner. I'll move the table down. And over. Again, hit the zero button. Y zero, enter the bit thickness again, 3.5. Okay, touch the probe again. Okay, we've zeroed that one now. Just go over to here, we can then go up a bit, move our over there, and then we can zero the, I don't need to worry about that one, zero that one again, touch the probe. If I go, go to zero, it puts me right on the corner there. So I should have, from here on in, 100% repeatability, hopefully. So hopefully that'll solve my, uh, my issues.